Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lego Super Studios coming at you with a brand new video on this Lego how to build a brick wall. Now, the thing about building a brick wall in Lego is you think um, something like this, just like stacking pieces on top of one another. And like you'd say, oh, there's your brick wall. No, we're doing this a different way today, guys. Um, we're making it look like an actual brick wall that you would see on the side of a building or a school or something of the such. Um, for years, I wondered um, how you could do this. And about, I don't know, half a year ago, I finally figured out how to do this. And I'm just showing you guys how to do it because I think um, people really don't know how to build with Legos. They're too simple minded and they think, oh, we're just going to build it like this. No, you can take your time, um, mess with a few pieces at random, and come up with something really cool that looks really interesting and real to life. So let's get right into the video, guys, right now. So you might be saying, what kind of pieces do I need for this? And I am here to tell you that really all you need is some simple pieces that most Lego um, people like myself usually have. Um, the only ones you might not have are these ones right over here, guys. Um, those are a little bit rare. Most people don't really have a lot of them. But, luckily, I have a few in store to show you guys how to do this exactly. Um, basic 4x1 piece like so. Uh, nothing on the back. Just plain. There you go. Um... I guess this is kind of a form of the snot technique. Um, studs not on top is what that stands for. And generally, these pieces are what you use for that. So if you are familiar with that, you're going to be familiar with those types of pieces. The other pieces you need are these ones right here. And those are not rare whatsoever. They're just basic one by two with a stud on top in the middle. And these pieces can be used for a lot of things, guys. Um, I know some of them are in a lot of the sets as extra pieces. So there you have those pieces readily available if you need them for this build. Another piece you definitely want to have is this 1x2 tile. Um, you can get these in many different colors. I just had a lot in this tan color. I did not have a lot in red, I had like one or two, so I couldn't really show you guys with that. But, if you're making a big wall, like I'm going to show you how to do it, if you want to make a huge one, you might want to use red and these tan ones. Dark red, regular red, and these tan ones, because it gives variations of color, um, unless you're doing a more sophisticated style. But if you're doing like a brick house or something, you're going to want to throw a couple other uh, colors in there for the different pieces to make it a little more busy and a little more interesting. Of course, um, you're going to need some plates to put this wall on. So we have two green plates. You can basically use whatever types of plates you want. Maybe you're doing some sort of base design um, for this, but generally you wouldn't really use that. I don't know, but you might have a huge plate. You might have just these little ones like I'm showing you right now. Um, just to test it out and show you exactly how to do it. So guys, let's get right into it. First thing you need to do is take this, all these pieces and basically stack them together. Um, now, you might be thinking, well, should I stack them this way as well? No, you, you, you could do that, but for this small wall, we're just going to uh, put them all on top like so. Now, if you were doing a bigger wall, you would do that that way. I wasn't quite sure. I was wondering myself if that matched up, and it does, in fact, and that plays a huge role in it. So, um, yeah, you, you, can, you can do that, like I just showed you. If you want to do this, you know, to make it a little bit sturdier, um, I would suggest doing that if you're making a bigger wall. But for now, like I said, all we do is this little thing right here that's all we need um so the second thing you do is take see how you have two you have you have four studs going across okay you need two of these for each four studs so if you count one two three four five 
times that by two, you need ten um, to fill this up. So ten of these bricks will fill up one, two, three, four, five of these uh, stacked bricks. So there we go. We stack those all on top, and this part gets a little tricky. A lot of people don't really realize this part. Um, this was the this was the hard part for me in figuring out exactly how to do this. Um, but nonetheless, it works the greatest. Okay, these pieces right here. There is no um, little piece going down in between there to like stop. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. See how there's that little circle right there? Well, these tiles not having that allows us to slide them on this one piece right here. So if we put that on a little uh, sideways, slide it down a bit, not exactly on it, um, we can keep doing that. Now you're going to want to space them out a little bit for each one. And when you, for every other one, you're going to slide it over. So we're going to slide this one over here, like so. And then space them out. Try and make them as even as possible, unless you're doing like a broken down building or some sort. Uh, we, we don't want them like that. You're in full control of how much space is in between. So this is not very hard for you to do, I'm sure. The hard part was figuring out how to do this for me, but now that you guys know, you can make a very nice looking Lego brick structure. So, of course, the last step is just putting this on the plates, and there you have it, guys, a brick wall. Now, this, this tan color kind of reminds me of like the Statue of Liberty, how like at the bottom on the pedestal how this would look maybe um, from a certain perspective here I have OCD so we gotta straighten that out a little bit there we go <laughs> um, I really don't have OCD though but anyways so this basically is an easy way with minimal pieces to make a small brick wall without you know just stacking a couple pieces on like I showed you in the intro but this is a very good looking brick wall. I mean, this is how it looks. And then on the inside of the building, you just have a white wall, which is really nice to have. Um, if you're doing like, originally I thought about like doing a church or something um, to show this, but I realized I didn't have enough pieces. And this is all I got really. But if you have enough of these pieces, and this is all you need really guys, this is seriously all you need. It's not that hard then you can actually build this brick wall and make it huge, make a huge building out of it, even make the Statue of Liberty, like I said before. Um, but yeah, guys, that about wraps up the video, just showing you how to build this really cool brick wall without, you know, just stacking bricks on each other and whatnot. If you like the video, please click that thumbs up at the bottom um, and leave a comment down below as well telling me you liked it, if you want to see more of these how-tos. The Lego Clone Weapons how-tos got a ton of views, guys, and I want to thank you for that. So I figured I better keep making these Lego how-tos. If you want to see more weapons, uh, please tell me if you want to see more structures like this, because I, I have a ton more structure plans um, that I would like to share with you guys. Uh, please let me know down below in the comment section and discuss this with other people, how you liked it and how you think you could use it in your builds exactly. So thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to see more videos like this. It'll show up in your emails if you set that or in your subscriptions feed. So you can catch all my videos here on the Legacy Brick Studios channel, such as Minecraft videos, Lego reviews, and much, much more. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.